healing deities are a, a small category of, uh, of figures um, within meditational deities of Tantric Buddhism. Uh, th they're often sort of folded in with Tibetan medicine, or they're just they're just uh, sometimes folded in with miscellaneous deities. And yes, there is a category called miscellaneous deities within different systems of of, uh, of uh, Tibetan teachers and literature and how to categorize deities. There's a category. So healing deities are are really just an assortment of uh, subjects that have to do with particular ailments, uh, and they are considered to be uh, especially important for the, the cure or the prevention or the protection from of, of certain ailments. And uh, these, these subjects, these figures, do not belong to Tibetan medicine. They belong to tantric medicine. There's a, there's a difference between Tibetan medicine and, and the, the medicine described in the various tantric literature. Um, which, which is also very much to do with what's called the Buddha medicine uh, or uh, Rasayana, um, uh, extracting elixirs from, from stones or flowers or water or, or, or the sky. <clears throat> there, there's various um, tantric sort of uh, uh, methods for these that are, that are separate from, from Tibetan medicine, which... Uh, uh, attempts to be more rational and based on on something such as the uh, Ayurvedic system of India or uh, some Persian systems, uh, borrowing some Chinese system, some Mongolian. There, there are different different uh, systems that come together, which are regarded as medicinal and, and, and traditions of medicine, as opposed to tantric deities and healing specifically. So the main healing deities are, as we've talked about in another video, is a Burkham Kuta is one. It's a, it's a it's a wrathful male deity, and uh, he specializes in non-contagious diseases. Then we have Garuda, the winged bird uh, that uh, really comes out of well, it comes out of the Kala Chakra system, but then it comes out of a separate system, uh, according to the system of, uh, from the tradition of Rechumpa, the student, uh, one of the two main students of Milarepa. Then we have Black Manjushri. Black Manjushri is for obscure illnesses. And what more can we say about obscure? Uh, Medicine Buddha is a healing deity. Nageshvara Raja Buddha is uh, for for naga serpent illnesses, what are serpent illnesses? So things like uh, leprosy, um, skin disease, boils, blisters, smallpox, uh, things like that are considered uh, naga diseases. Um, then we have Parnashavari. Parnashavari is a three-faced, uh, six-armed yellow goddess, goddess of the of the. Uh, Shavari tribe of ancient India, and uh, she is for all types of contagious diseases. So that would be smallpox, um, any, any kind of flus or epidemics. Then we have Simhanada Lokeshvara. Simhanada Lokeshvara is a form of Avalokiteshvara, and he, he specializes in, in curing and preventing Naga diseases as well. So you can see there's a lot of, of problems with, with Nagas. Then we have the what are called the three combined wrathful ones. This is uh, Vajrapani, Hayagriva, Garuda combined as a single deity. And uh, this is for astrological sicknesses. And what are those? Well, epilepsy would be one. Um, so, so these are some of the, the healing deities. It's a very small kind of uh, category, but, but it is a real category that we find in literature and in the art.